Hi, I'm Ella, welcome to my channel. So, it's nearly Christmas and I was thinking about doing a Christmas video, but then I went and saw Hamilton. I saw it about a week ago, um, during the previews, and as opening night in London for Hamilton is tomorrow, I thought I would make a little video on the best moments from the Hamilton preview that I saw. I don't think you can see right now, but I'm actually wearing my Skylar Sisters t-shirt that I got there. So I booked these tickets back in January, I think, so I've been waiting nearly a whole year to see this. Now, obviously they changed one or two things to make it suitable for a British audience. For the starters, I don't think anyone who's British, or maybe even a lot of Americans, do they really know where Weehawken is? Like, I didn't realise until very recently that it was a place in New Jersey, so the fact that they changed Weehawken to just New Jersey in uh, Your Obedient Servant was probably a great shout. And they, I noticed it once or twice throughout, I can't remember all of them, but I remember noticing it throughout a few times. And oh, it was just so amazing because I've just been listening to it and I've seen videos online, but until you're actually there and watching the whole thing unfold before you, you can't really properly comprehend it all. And I thought it was really interesting because you don't just hear the story through the words, but you see them telling the story and it just adds so much more. So, for example, during Farmer Refuted, you get the whole little interaction between Hamilton and Lafayette, Lawrence, Mulligan and Burr as well. And there's a whole other story being shown through actions that you just don't get at all by listening to it. Them all sitting there egging on Hamilton, being like, yo, rip this guy apart, and uh, Burr's being like, like, stop, and so they get rid of Burr. They drag him off, and then they're like, okay, now, now you can go up and uh, speak your mind. Uh, so that was really funny, and um, particularly enjoyed that, and it was just a perfect example of, like, how you never really get the full story or the full experience until you actually see it there. Similarly, the characters just gain so much more. Um, by just watching them, like, you can add so much more to them. Um, the guy who played Lafayette and Jefferson, Jason Pennycook, he was incredible. Like, you get an idea of what the characters are like from listening to it. But just watching them perform and looking at all their little nuances and everything, the character is so much more than what you hear. And um, he just did a superb job with those characters and really bring the most out of them. And I think... Lafayette and Jefferson and also King George were probably the most, not different, but they had the most added to them by just watching them um, instead of just listening to them. Also watching, there were so many little like dance moves and extra, the choreography on whole was amazing, but there were just these little moments where from listening to the soundtrack you maybe didn't expect there to be any dancing or anything, but they just had these little choreographed movements that just added so much and so like in a winter's ball I think it was where the reliable with the ladies or something they had a little row of them just doing a little dance move and it was just added so much more to it it was really funny um, and it happened again in Washington on your side then just the whole concept of the cabinet battles like I knew that that's how they were doing them but just being able to experience it myself they're talking to the audience throughout like, Burr is telling this story, but then Washington coming out and speaking directly, directly to the audience. It was just, like, kind of on a separate level, and, like, the use of microphones, it was just really funny, and there was one moment where um, Jefferson gave a sick burn and handed his microphone to Jefferson, who then is, like, grabbing it with a handkerchief because the microphone is on fire, and it's just, like, those little moments that you just don't get from listening to it. Um, and you might not notice on a video of it. I think there are a few other moments or like key highlights that I just kind of have to mention because they were really good. Obviously the whole thing was really good but I think these are just moments that like you might not get from the soundtrack or videos. Or you might get some hint of it but just on stage seeing it live it just becomes so much more and it's incredible. So Guns and Ships obviously. Lafayette jumping up there and it was really just a complete explosion of movement and song and like I knew it was going to be a big moment anyway but they just knocked it out of the park. Then the whole sit down John 
as he was dropping a massive stack of papers. That was brilliant. The use of props was quite funny, so just dropping a massive stack of papers that he supposedly published as his response. Really long response. And then in Your Obedient Servant, he's writing an itemised list of 30 years of disagreements, and you just keeps handing more and more sheets of paper over, and it's just little moments like that that just added so much more. Wait for it, I'm not sure what happened, but I had chills, like proper chills down my arm. That was so incredible, like I, I can't, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I had chills. It was amazing. Dear Theodosia was like kind of a nice break, like there are a few other like slower songs and everything but it was just a nice moment of quiet before they go back into the chaos of like non-stop and everything. Then I personally didn't cry properly until the end but you could hear the people sniffling away on Quiet Uptown and I think I was just sat there like yeah for once it's not me. I was getting emotional but I didn't cry until Who Lives Who Dies Who Tells Your Story and then I was bawling my adore tears everywhere. It was incredible. Rachel Ango is oh, amazing. The whole Eliza section gets me every time. All in all, it was an absolutely phenomenal show. I'm so glad that I got to see it live. I would highly recommend attempting to get tickets if you don't already. There's nothing else like it out there. Let me know if you've seen it, what your favourite parts were, and make sure to subscribe to stay updated when my next videos come out. Till next time, bye!